hi friends so today I'm going to show you how we are going to work in a pivot table so before starting the pivot table concept I would like to say that once you know the basic principles of the pivot table you can you can handle the any forms of complex data but the very first step is to have a very basic knowledge of the pivot table so let's see how we can create a pivot table of the list which I am showing right now this is basically the list of a company which makes the fridge and it exports to the different countries and here we have the fridge type which shows the different types of fridges that has been supplied and the quantity ordered so the geographic and the country are the the customers of the, this fridge making company so what we will do we will create our pivot table for this case we will go to the insert tab and then click on the pivot table so the very first thing it asks about the range and the location so click on this icon and select the range and make sure you include the header also now it gives the two facilities the one we can create the pivot table in the new sheet and or we can create in the existing sheet the radio buttons are there we can select any one of them in our case we will create the pivot table in this existing sheet only so that we can analyze the data uh, very easily so press the ok button now see the pivot construction window appears and you can see the fields to add to report are basically the headers in your in our list so one of the important concept that I would like to highlight here this uh, mostly this kind of report has a relationship of a, a superset within that there is a subset and within subset we have a subset of a subset now this kind of relationship is going to be handled in the pivot table very easily and very efficiently so you can see here this is the geographic within the geographic we have the countries and within the countries we have the types of fridges it's like a superset subset and subset within the subset so when we click on this area that this the, the parameter of the pivot table appears so you can see here there is a four windows report columns values row levels now we have the con the quantity figure is basically here the quantity ordered so pick this quantity ordered and put it in here now the very first thing I would like to say what is our goal and what we are going to achieve with the pivot table in our case we have the agenda that we want to know for which country has the num uh, ordered quantity uh, we want to see that relationship how many uh, fridges, fridges has been ordered for that country and we have also the facilities to filter out the countries depending on the geographic and also we can have the quant quantities depending on the fridge type for each country country 
so the in the pivot table which is very much essential that first you must be very clear about your requirement what you want to be to display in the table so in our case we have put the quantity ordered in the value tables so this 2600 what now is representing is basically the sum of all these orders you can see here the 26 so now in the row level we will put the country tab because we want the quantized information of each country so put the country and drag it to the row level now we can see we have the rows like America America has ordered total 100 fridges Britain has 300 so it has given you the summarized value of the fridge ordered by each countries now I want to filter this result depending on the geography see you can here see that this is basically the report filter window so you put this geography and drop it here now what this geography filter drop down says open this now I want to see the countries which belongs to the Europe region only now select this so we have a Britain France Germany and Switzerland now and we have the number of the fridges has been ordered by these countries now we want to know what are the different types of fridges has been ordered by each countries see here we have the basically three types of fridges general deluxe and ultra deluxe and one more normal so we want to see which country has ordered what kind of fridge in that case we can have a, a one more selection here that is called the column labels this window now this fridge type you put it here in the column labels now see what this pivot table is representing now these are the countries which belongs to the Europe Britain has ordered 300 ultra deluxe fridges and the total order was 300 France ultra deluxe fridge 100 and the total order was 100 you can match the results from here also similarly for Germany 400 general fridges and the total grand total was 400 similarly for Switzerland Switzerland has ordered 200 deluxe freezes and sorry 500 deluxe freezes and 200 general freezes so total is 700 so you can see here the Switzerland general 200 and Switzerland deluxe 500 so this is very basic example of using the pivot table you must understand what this four window signifies in the pivot table hope this helps you understanding the concept have a nice day